Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to easily create chords in Logic Pro X without even knowing how to make chords actually. Uh, you just have to play, press one key on your keyboard and Logic can output different chords. So I'm, I have a audio plugin here, loaded up with a sound. Like that. And there are some different cool media effects plugins. Uh, I have some third party, but I'm going to use the logic built in here. And for this purpose, I'm going to use the chord trigger plugin. So just by having it on the initial settings like this, you can play with just one single hit on the keyboard and you will have some different chords. So let's say I want this chord. You can also browse through the different presets here. So let's say I want maybe some seventh chords. Okay, so you can also export these chords, and I'm going to show you how. So, let's say I want these chords in my project, so we're going to record them. So I don't think my playing here was very good time, so I'm going to quantize and I'm going to move them move them so they are in time here let's play it this is So I also want all of these chords to be in the same velocity. So I'm going to load up another MediaFX called Velocity Processor. And I'm going to choose the Maximize Velocity setting. So now I want these chords to be exported in the real MIDI data because this is just one single note as you can see here and I want to have the real MIDI data so I can see the actual chords being played. So I'm going to load up another MIDI effects for that and Logic built in MIDI effects doesn't work or doesn't export the chords so I use a freeware plugin, a thirdware plugin called MIDI effects freeze. You can google this MIDI effects freeze plugin and it's actually really good for this purpose. So I'm going to press the freeze button and I'm just going to play this MIDI region again. And just stop it like that. And now I have a MIDI kind of icon here. So I'm going to drag this out to the workspace area and I don't want to import any tem tempo information. So I'm going to delete that. And now I have the real MIDI information. Like that. So I'm going to turn off all of the MediaFX plugins here. And now I just have some chords by just playing around with a plugin basically.
So I can just delete all of these plugins. And it will still play this, these chords, obviously.